Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie, Editor-in-Chief at TheServerSide.com, and I wanted to talk to you about Git Config and specifically show you how to list your Git configuration and also show you how to figure out which file a given piece of configuration is listed in. And by the way, a little shout out to India, where most of my hits come from. So I've got a little local Git repository that actually maps to a Git lab repository over there. Although my remote repository doesn't really matter too much. Um, I just want to see what my Git configuration is. And to figure it out, you just do Git config dash dash list. You can just do dash L. And you can see a great deal of information comes in here about how your Git environment is configured. There you can see the global username and the global email address that's in there. I am in, what is this, last VI, shows you all of your different settings. So that's pretty cool. Now, one of the questions a lot of people have is how and where are these things configured? So Git has a local, global, repository-based, like, like a package-based configuration. Um, and it, it uses a cascading framework. So a given configuration can be set in multiple places. If you want to figure out where a particular configuration comes from, you go git config list dash show origin. Now, I'm wondering if my screen is going to be big enough to, to handle all of this. Um, but you can see that, well, a number of settings here, like user.name, that's in C users owner git config. But core file mode, that's just in dot git config, which would be the local repository here. Um, notice you've even got some configuration settings like the credentials HTTPS setting, which is configured in the git environment. So that's the git installation. This is my local user environment. And that's the current Git repository that I am in right now. So anyways, that's uh, pretty interesting. That's usually the information people want, not just how do you actually get the global Git configuration, but where the heck are these configuration files coming from? And uh, where do I have to go if I want to change them? So there you go. That's how you show your local Git configuration. Now, if you enjoyed this short, brief tutorial that got right to the point, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I've got lots of other great tutorials over there. I'm the editor-in-chief over there. Lots of stuff on Git, GitHub, GitLab, DevOps in general. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. And I'd also ask you to uh, kindly subscribe on the YouTube.